first pre-season game, only pre-season game, uh, what are you hoping to get out of Sunday's match? Yeah, a number of things, Phil. I think, uh, first of all, it'd be a great exercise for, for the boys to have a, a full-on physical game, you know, in terms of their, uh, you know, their condition and their preparation, just getting used to the timing, the hits, uh, and going set for set in a, in a, you know, a real game of rugby league. I think we'll look at some different combinations too. I think it's going to give some of the young guys an opportunity to get the best foot forward. Um, and there'll be some certain, I guess, areas, principles, if you like, that we'll look to, you know, we'll, we'll look to get a good start on certainly our effort areas and make sure our communication and organisation in, in defence is right. You know, I'm not expecting us uh, to hit the ground running offensively. Um, clearly, we're working towards round one and. Uh, Luke's obviously returned to training, we've got Kyle Eastman in, so uh, we think both those boys are on track uh, for a start in round one, uh, but we're not going to risk those uh, those fellas this weekend, uh, it's a little bit too soon for them, uh, and that's same with a couple of boys, that are, you know, Matty Pryor being another that is just back into it, so what it'll do, it'll give us a bit of a, uh, you know, half and half in terms of seniors and the young guys coming through, and for those guys, Sam Walters, Jack Broadbent, Corey Hall, it's a, a terrific opportunity to get the best foot forward. Yeah, it's been noticed with those guys have been there every day in pre-season. Is this a good reward for them and a chance to, to show what they've, what they've gained over the last few months? Well, it's about opportunity. And, and while, it is, you know, while it is a trial game very much, they have got an opportunity to make an impression on the coaches. Uh, and, you know, as, I, as I've said a couple of times this week when I've been speaking to the press, but we're still unsure of our team for round one. Uh, we know what we'd like it to be, but at the same time, we have got a couple of guys that are going to be uh, getting, getting really close in terms of their return from injury. So uh, we're looking at a number of permutations. Ash has run at fullback most of the season and, and he'll get a start there at the weekend. So that'll be a, a, a good challenge and interesting to see how he goes there as well. And Huddersfield, obviously new coach uh, and a fair few changes to their squad. Normally a friendly game, you, you're not expecting too, too much change, but they'll be out to impress their, their new coach. going to be a real competition. Yeah, I think this probably works for both. We, we've not looked at Huddersfield one little bit. We wouldn't even try and forecast what their lineup would be. We'd not even try and forecast what Ian's done with them. You know, if, if he's working in a new style, working with the players he's got, or you know, he, he wants to replicate what he got going at Southampton. We, we don't know, and, and again, that's not really important for us. I think it'll do us good uh, not to know and not have any prep. It should put us on our toes in and around our system areas. Uh, and yeah, where Huddersfield's concerned, you would expect with. Uh, with a new coach coming in and some new players that a bit like our young boys really they want to get the best foot forward. Have you noticed the spring in the step of the lads this week knowing there's a finally a game at the end of the week? Well as you know we had uh, three days together Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday we did uh, some extended days and uh, being unable to get on camp this year we thought we'd try and get a little bit of a camp feel to it so the boys have, a, have had a, a fairly heavy week uh, not only physically um, but it's been pretty, pretty mentally taxing as well um, you know, we went around some of our, you know, our, our values, our behaviours, our spirit of the rhino stuff. Um, so we've had a fairly big week. Uh, I think getting closer towards the season, and uh, again, the boys that are sort of getting a run and a start this weekend, they're excited to be playing. That's for sure.